Hello everyone. So five days ago, Riot Games pretty much confirmed the return of Pentakill. They're gonna release a third album and hopefully we get a good music video. And hopefully it's good enough so that we forget the absolutely disgusting failure that the Runation event was. But regardless, this brings out an interesting question as to which prestige skin is going to be tied to the new Pentacle Race unless they don't release new skins for it and they only update the already existing ones but I think that would be a waste and I'm pretty sure that Riot would definitely take this opportunity because people have been asking for it for a while and it'll be amazing. So now, here's the thing, there's always a prestige skin associated to a new coming skin line. It's pretty much become a rule at this point and there's only three champions left for this year. Kane, Volibear, and Brand. Now, a lot of people think it's going to be Volibear, but let me explain why. I think it's actually likelier for it to be Kane, and that if it turns out to be Volibear, it's actually quite bad design. So look at Volibear. What do you notice that is different from Volibear and every single other member of Pentakill? Now, it doesn't take two seconds even to realize that Volibear doesn't have a weapon, and every single Pentakill champion, their weapon turns into an instrument. Or in the case of Sona, it just upgrades to a different version. Now, what does Volibear have? He has claws. Like, how do you turn that into an instrument? It just doesn't make any sense when you think about it. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And if they end up releasing Pentakill Volibear, it would kind of contradict the entire trend of the whole skin line. But what about Kane? Well, Kane, out of the three champions here, is the only one that has a weapon that can easily be turned into an instrument, which is obviously Rost. And so, also, I do think that it would fit him quite well personally although I've seen a lot of people complain about this possibility and say that it wouldn't fit Kane out or whatever well I disagree I think it'd be fucking amazing but that's just my personal opinion at the end of the day nobody is right or wrong when it comes to aesthetic design preference and such but yeah I honestly think that this would be a good prospect for Kane and it's actually not unlikely that is gonna happen. Now, what about Crime City Nightmare Kane? Because obviously, there's been a leak going on for a while, and I was pretty much, as soon as they announced Crime City, you know, actually making it, I was pretty much set on the idea that Kane was gonna get a Crime City Nightmare skin. And it is still possible. It is still very likely, actually, because most people that voted for Crime City Nightmare voted because there was a Kane skin attached to it. If the Kane leak didn't make it, I do not think that Crime City Nightmare would have had the result it had. Maybe it would have still won, but I do not think that it would have done as well. Because people have been wanting a Kane skin for forever. I digress. Um, I think this would still be amazing. At the end of the day, whether we get Pentakill or Crime City Nightmare is completely fine. But I do think that Pentakill is likelier than people think and Pentakill Volibear I think would suck and make absolutely no sense but I like to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later peace